In this video, I want to introduce the idea of the central dogma, which is a, an important concept when we think about uh, molecular biology. So the central dogma essentially is that you can go from DNA to RNA and to protein. Um, DNA can first replicate via a process called DNA replication. And the DNA can then be converted into RNA via a process called transcription. And RNA can be converted into protein via a process called translation. So all of these green arrows here indicate the idea that is the central dogma. That is the central dogma. The sort of crazy big rule. Now, um, going from DNA to RNA, recall that DNA and RNA are both nucleic acids. They are both nucleic acids. So, the process there is called transcription. They're different, they're slightly different, but they're both still nucleic acids. So, in transcription, what's happening? Well, if you're going to transcribe something, imagine, imagine you write a letter to your friend, right? And a f another friend of yours wants to copy that exact same letter, right? Let's say you wrote your letter in English and your friend wants to copy your your exact same letter uh, in English as well. So they do that. They copy it right down. They're transcribing it and it's in the same language. But even if they write it in the same language, their writing or their handwriting might be a little bit different than yours. That's the idea behind going from DNA to RNA. It's the same language, but they're slightly different. Transcription is the same language. Both of them are using nucleic acids, which are the macromolecules. They're um, monomers are, of course, nucleotides, specifically deoxyribonucleotides. Um, deoxyribonucleotides in the case of DNA and ribonucleotides in RNA. And then going from RNA to protein, that's translation. And the reason why is because translation it involves changing the language. So if you wrote a letter in English and your friend wanted to change that exact same that letter into Spanish or some other language, that would be translation. So going from RNA to protein, you're changing the macromolecule. You're going from a nucleic acid that's going to be coding for um, a protein. So the macromolecule is a protein. And proteins are made up of amino acids. Amino acids. So um, in that case, you're changing the language. So that's how I remember you know, transcription versus translation. You'll notice that I wrote some red arrows here. So what are these red arrows about? So RNA can actually replicate itself. These are going to be um, exceptions. These red arrows, RNA replication, these are exceptions to the central dogma. Okay, generally speaking, we don't think about RNA replicating itself, but it can replicate in some viruses, some RNA viruses. This can happen in RNA viruses. In addition, we can go from... Uh, it's po it is possible for RNA to be converted into DNA. So that process is the reverse of transcription, and sure enough, it's called reverse transcription. So this is uh, an example of where you would see reverse transcription is in retroviruses. So retroviruses are viruses that are RNA viruses that can that uh, have a an enzyme called reverse transcriptase, which allows them to turn their RNA into DNA. So an example is retroviruses. An example of a particular uh, retrovirus is uh, HIV. HIV is um, human immunodeficiency virus, and that is a retrovirus, and it, it's a, a very big problem. It's very hard to deal with um, or treat. But generally speaking, these green arrows are or represent the central dogma. I hope that video was pretty simple, straightforward, and helpful in understanding what's going on with the central dogma. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moveuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thanks for watching.